course, that is Tim Duncan, who has had a sensational, sensational rookie year. And here we go from Phoenix. Johnson on Johnson. Robinson on Robinson. Rebound by Will Purdue. Well, you expect Will Purdue to be down there, but the key is to see how they try to defend defensively, if you will, with the Spurs. Who they put out on the three-man, that time it was Duncan. Avery driving inside, and he comes up with two, and he's fouled in the process, taking it inside. He is not a guy they look for a lot of offense from, but if he does produce, it would be a huge bonus for the Spurs tonight. Well, the Spurs have to get some production from the... Up the foul, and just like that, the Spurs on top, 3-0 over Phoenix. Now, now look at this matchup. They've got Tim Duncan guarding Jason Kidd. They have played him at the one position, Tim Duncan, before. Robinson out to Kidd. Thinking for three. Three by inside. McDice up high and down home. So one of the advantages Phoenix gets out of that is you take one, you have one less rebounder if you have Duncan out guarding Kidd away from the basket. Inside, David Robinson, who now is more of a defensive specialist, but he crossed it up right there, and the Spurs win, who have been handcuffed by turnovers most of the year, turned over for the first time there. Yeah, well, David Robinson is going to try to post up. You're right. Defensively, he's got to be strong. When he is, that's when they're at their best. Kim Johnson. Oh! Rebound inside, claimed by McLeod, and his momentum carried him out of bounds. But you know what? I like what Phoenix is doing. They're getting out, trying to take advantage. That would have been a quickness rebound, something Danny Ainge would be really proud of his team doing. Ainge in his first full season, he took over eight games into a year ago and took the team to the playoffs. Johnson to Robinson. And inside, Duncan with the tap. There's Will Purdue, who has, as we said before, been a problem for the Suns all season. Because you're always looking for Robinson and, and uh, Duncan, and Purdue just kind of eased in there. Again, they got Duncan on Kidd. Can you believe that? A seven-footer on the point guard. Robinson rejected by Robinson. Well, they're, they're second in the league in block shots, Kevin. They can do that. Will do that! And he tried the two and missed it. Kidd gets the ball. Two minutes gone, first quarter. Dyson Purdue. Right down the path he flies. Clifford Robinson playing straight up and saves it off the kid. KJ for two. Yes. David Thurman, they hustled the ball, pushed it out to KJ, standing at the top of the key. The hustle plays have to be in the Sun's favor for them to win. Spurs by one, Robinson on top. Sharon Jackson tried to pull it inside, and Tim Duncan may have gotten a hand on it, but he also may have jammed a finger in the process. Well, he did jam his finger, but watch this effort here right there by Clifford Robinson. Watch. It goes toward the baseline. Watch him dive and tap it back to Jason Kidd. What a great effort. Jackson, he can hit the three. Rebound by McLeod. Fun to live with that. Evan Jackson now drives into Jackson, who draws the foul on the perimeter. It's a tough matchup for Jaron Jackson. Well, what they did, which was really good, is that Avery Johnson started out on Jason Kidd, but they had to switch Jackson on him because Duncan couldn't get there, and then the penetration caused the foul. Get through day! Kidd to Clifford Robinson. And the former Portland Trailblazer gets his first two. To make shots. He's a good shot maker around the 15, 17 foot line. Approaching nine minutes to play here in the first quarter from wild and energized Phoenix. Robinson again draws the double. Now they drop off. He's got a man-to-man -man with Robinson on the other end. And there goes David Robinson. But that's the way he'll play. He's more of a perimeter player than is Tim Duncan, to tell you. Duncan can play perimeter defensively outside, but David's more of a forward than he is a post-up five. Now they got him on the other point guard. Johnson over Duncan. Tough shot. And he ordered the shot. Duncan did. Robinson the rebound. Yeah, Phoenix has got to make shots. Tough to make him over a seven-footer. He's got it inside if they want to go through it. The crowd has got Duncan. Screen by Purdue. Jackson back to Purdue inside. Rejected inside by Robinson. And then David Robinson throws it away. I'm going to tell you what he saw. His coach has got on a blue jacket, and he looked and saw his coach out of the corner of his eye just threw the pads out. Nonetheless, David Robinson has turned the ball over twice so far in the opening minutes. Kevin Johnson into Kidd. 
inches bigger than Avery Johnson. Jason Kidd. What a shot by Kidd. Yeah. But Greg Popovich would rather see Jason Kidd take that shot than pass out of the double team because that's what Kidd would prefer to do. Under eight to play here in the first quarter. Duncan and McDice. Johnson and Johnson, Robinson and Robinson. Here comes Avery's second shot tonight. That He's two of two. Yeah, well, that could be a real problem for the Suns because they don't want the perimeter players to get off. Right here, Avery Johnson has made a uh, three-point play and just made a jump shot. And he's only averaging 10 a game. He's already got four. Kevin Johnson popped it up. Duncan, two on he one. Traveled. He did. Jackson traveling. One too many steps. Jaron Jackson actually looked up to see if David Robinson, I mean, not David Robinson, Tim Duncan was running, as you can see, three turnovers for San Antonio. Can you believe that? Looking for Tim Duncan to run, and Duncan got a late start. That's why he traveled. So far, the San Antonio Spurs, four at seven. Phoenix, four of 11. Kevin Johnson, wide open, Clifford Robinson. Oh. The dice fighting with Purdue out of bounds and off of Phoenix. See, the thing about Purdue guarding McDice that's good for San Antonio is Purdue is an effort guy. He understands when you play against a high-energy guy like McDice, you just need to keep a body on him so he doesn't come up with those offensive rebounds. Spurs by one. Here comes Duncan. First time he's really maneuvered in the low post with McDice on him. They, they don't have very good spacing. And that's why he ended up taking a bad shot. The spacing was bad. Here comes Kidd, up ahead, Clifford Robinson. Back to Kidd from 15. Jay Kidd, not known for the J, shooting pretty well today. Suns by one. Avery Johnson into a thicket of Suns defenders. Avery Johnson's gone three of three, and he's got seven. They're, they're so concerned about David Robinson on that pick and roll, they did not come and help on Avery Johnson. The intent there is to make Avery Johnson finish plays as opposed to letting him pass to, to Robinson. Nick Tice. Duncan with the rebound. That, that was an outlet pass that's big time. I mean, it's... Oh, oh, oh. that is the Admirals up high. Johnson the feed. Now they're playing that game. You get the rebound by Duncan to Avery Johnson. On the other end, the lob to David Robinson. And the Suns... They'll take a turn, and the Spurs lead by three. It smells like the playoffs. It feels like the playoffs. Robinson up high. It's set up to be. And he figures, why waste Rex in this game here? He wants to try to scratch this one out. He figures the one guy he has the most confidence on the team is Rex Chapman. He wants him, should there be a game five. McLeod and Kidd from two. Robinson inside, doubles up the rebound. 5.45 to play here in the first quarter. Avery Johnson's got momentum. Duncan is outside, McDice on him. Will Purdue was standing wide open. You could hear him in the background hollering, Woo! but it was a little late to get that one. Shot clock at six. Duncan. <laughs> That's and not a thing that McDice can do there. His first two tonight. Yeah, but he's good for 20 a night, 10 boards, as is Davis Robinson, the only duo in the league with that combination. Both in the top 10 in rebounding and scoring. That's kicked away. He's up the 24 second shot clock. Duncan's first two here. Watch how easy this really is. I mean, he goes up, and Antonio McDice, ladies and gentlemen, 47 inch vertical. So he can get up. But what you saw right there was good positioning by Duncan. Put a little elbow on the chest so he couldn't jump. San Antonio up by five on a 6 nothing run right now. McDice with Purdue there, and McDice will put it up. Robinson with another rebound. He's got four. He's doing a turnaround over a seven-footer. That's a tough shot. Johnson again. Avery. Oh, that's down again. Avery Johnson's gone mad. Here's a player with nine points who they didn't expect a single thing from early in the game. I think he's taking offense to the fact that people are saying the guards are their weak point and trying to show that he's not going to be the weak link on the team. And Kevin Johnson says touche at the other end. <laughs> touche with two points. Spurs by five, four and a half in the first quarter. Duncan to Robinson. Oh, got it. What a move by David Robinson. 
it's a, it really is a, a difficult matchup for Cliff Robinson because when David is 71 with that kind of quickness, it's just you just don't see players like that in the league. Now the Spurs have their biggest lead tonight at seven. KJ against AJ. And Avery picks up the foul. Watch David Robinson get position. Now, what do you have to watch? Watch the ball fake for which Robinson goes for. Cliff Robinson, that is. Right there, a little ball fake. Right here. And he goes for it. And here's the finish by the end. Vinny Del Negro is in the game for the first time. Battle injuries all season. Great feed from the dice inside the McLeod. Good with Cole cut by McLeod. Vinny Del Negro comes in. And for those of you who've seen this merge before, as the point guard, that's the circumstance they go with now. Not as good a ball handler as Avery Johnson, but a better shooter. Two of the best young forwards in the NBA. Duncan and McDonald's. Patience. That is the first San Antonio miss in six shots. Robinson from Kidd. Robinson outside to McDice, who's open. Penetration by Robinson. I thought he made a mistake by not taking the shot. But he drew and he kicked. Time. Now the Spurs were up by seven. A little run here by the Phoenix Suns. Now it's a three-point game with 3.21 to play. We're in the first quarter. play Avery Johnson. If not, Robinson and Duncan will get doubled. So that early stance by the backcourt of San Antonio has been huge so far. Well, the question is about spacing. If you've got guys making shots, then the big people inside have the space to make the kind of move they need to move. And we got Tim Duncan down on the ground while David Robinson has the ball making the move. Robinson inside, trying to tap in his own miss, tries for a third time. The dice is there, and that is not a good scene. No, it is not. He got whacked in the face of the eye, maybe the nose, but uh, nonetheless, he's changed. Well, the question is whether or not they got to take the time out. Well, they're coming in to get him. Chuck Person is coming to get Tim Duncan. Get a chance to take a look right here. You see that? Look, oh, you can look like his fingers of Antonio McDice got caught in there as David Robinson was holding. And McDice knew it and, and was almost <laughs> like apologetic as he watched him fall. Well, he, he really was a little bit concerned yeah. about it, which is great sportsmanship. It is. You can see, watch the arms get locked, and the finger right there slaps him in the face and the nose, and then he goes down, and he, the, you can see they're looking at his eye. It's the trainer, John Anderson, right there, and here's David Robinson at the free throw line, a 73% free throw shooter. Robinson tonight, great numbers, six points, six rebounds. Well, the thing for David Robinson, I don't think, is as much as offense. When you talk to... Uh, Greg Popovich, they're worried about him being a presence defensively, and he's a better presence defensively with this man, Tim Duncan, in the game, because Duncan can clean up anything that Robinson doesn't get. So Robinson probably is going to be a little bit more conservative defensively. All right, and so Duncan is out. Chuck Person for Coach Popovich now has come in the game. No Sean Elliott. He is injured and left off the playoff roster. He is in no shape to play, and they wisely left him off the roster with a torn quadricep, even though they tried to work on it. He's torn up both legs over the course of the last two years. Kid gets it out to Clifford Robinson with five to shoot. A nice fadeaway over David Robinson. Yes. David Robinson was a little conservative there. Didn't want to go for a ball feet. Stayed down. Negro, who can play the point. In fact, he played the point when he first got to San Antonio for coach Jerry Tarkanian. A better suited for the number two. David Robinson outside. Rebound by McLeod. Can't get an next one. No Duncan. This is a tough matchup for Purdue. And David Robinson was holding on to Clifford Robinson. That's a foul. And the first fall on the Admiral. See, I think that one of the things the Suns have to look to do is try to get some what they call secondary break opportunities. If you don't have the fast break before the defense gets set, that's an opportunity they call it a secondary break to take advantage. That's what they did on that play when Robinson fouled the day. That is David Robinson fouled Cliff Robinson. Here's Kidd. Oh, and McTice throws it down. What a play. To most people, that would have been just a catch. That time, McTice chest. Is by the grill. Tim Dice for six. You watch it before the game. He said he jumps so quick. You know how they're going to cover him. He, he gets up easily. I mean, he, he gets up with such a left. Robinson to Del Negro. Shot clock at three. David Robinson. Shot clock at one. Person for three. He throws 
up in. David Robinson is tired, and Greg Popovich has got to figure out whether to get Tim Duncan back in the game. Because Robinson had the ball with five seconds. Chuck Person ends up getting the missed shot, but Robinson should have taken it. Quickly to Scott Hastings. Yeah, over on the bench, Tim Duncan just got poked in the right eye. He shall return. And Tony McDice, who's getting off early, fellas, actually involved in a trade in the offseason that some say in Denver led to the firing of general Mal manager Alan Bristow. They weren't happy in Denver about that trade. That's Robinson the miss. Robinson the rebound. Johnson the other way. Seven rebounds for David Robinson. The well, business aspect of that trade is whether or not you, you make the decision whether or not uh, Antonio McDice was going to be worth at that point, they were talking about for $100 million. So that's the business decision. David Robinson took it in hard. The racing all begins at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Double headers on TBS and TNT. Here with about a minute to play in the first quarter. It's a one-point lead for San Antonio. Kevin Johnson, Clifford Robinson, rejected by Robinson. Duncan back in the game. And a whistle and a foul. They call that on Tim Duncan. Now he's in the He's trying to say he was dead. Yeah, he first. He's trying to say it should have been a held ball. First shot in the, under the two minutes. First foul in the two minutes. With Dice the screen. Kevin Johnson. That's his play. They run that about 40% of the time. Duncan, free oh. Oh. Kevin Johnson to the right. Oh, oh and it goes in. Avery Johnson, five of five. The play was he never put his opposite hand on the ball. That was why he could not get it blocked. The defender was waiting for that to happen. Spurs by three. McLeod into Del Negro with the hand check. McLeod and even Dennis Scott could probably give you 30 on a given night. Not to mention Rex Chapman, who might go to play tonight for the right one. Hot Rod Williams in along with Johnson, Kidd, Bryant, and McLeod. A difference of five seconds. The game clock in the shot clock. Avery Johnson hasn't missed until there. And the rebound by Hot Rod. Watch the pick and roll. The Suns can tie with two. KJ at the buzzer. Hot Rod Williams. And San Antonio makes a major statement led by point guard Avery Johnson. One more shot. One more pass. One more block. One more chance to risk it all. Because in the playoffs, you win one more time. Or you go home. The NBA playoffs continue on TNT and TBS. Every game counts. Get Duncan, Avery Johnson, Chuck Person. Robinson is on the bench for the Spurs. Duncan now manning it. The power forward into Johnson. What a pass from Duncan. Well, that's the other aspect of Tim Duncan's game. A very mature player, four-year player, let's say. And I think that's what's one of the things that's important. Mind you, ladies and gentlemen, this young man started out as a swimmer. Kid inside, posting on Johnson. And a foul on Avery Johnson. You've got to know where the defense is all the time. But you get a chance to take a look at it. As Nash turns his head, helps out. No one from the Suns come over. Good pass by Duncan. Great cut by Avery Johnson for the basket. Seconds into the second quarter. Bryant the work on Purdue. Mark Bryant, the former Houston Rockets, beats Purdue with a nice little bump and a fadeaway. Yeah, but he's also played at Portland. He can play that bump and grind game. He's one of the few players on the Suns that can do that. That's why he's in the game. Sure. It is a two-point San Antonio lead. Duncan again quickly doubled. Steve Nash in the game. First time we've seen him. He'll call into Williams. Duncan rejected by Williams and a whistle and a call. Another yeah, the call a jump ball. Yeah, it was a good call. Solid defense that time played by Danny Ainge's sons, particularly once Hot Rod Williams. Keeps a body right there. He knows that he has the backboard to help, and all he does is take the angle away from Tim Duncan, gets the jump ball. Ron Williams wins it. McLeod grabs it. Here come the Suns with a minute on in the second quarter. Yeah, nice screen by Nash. Hit. What a oh. Did you see that? I love the left hand because he put it away from the defense. Chuck Person into Duncan again. They're popping it around the block every time in the defense of the Phoenix Suns holding tight. Watch Kidd, the 
this time. Watch him roll off of Del Negro. Watch the left hand. You see Duncan comes, can't get there because it's a left-handed shot. They're going to put him on the block again. We're tied at 25. Here comes Kidd, double team, and he can't get it to go. Call the ball inside. It's a loose ball foul. Call inside the lane. And on Tim Duncan. He's got two. Well, he's picked up the second. And I think you can afford to leave him in. You're in the second quarter. I don't think there's any real hurry to get Duncan out. Pretty mature player, knows how to play with the foul. The post-up game, not the pick and roll, is what Phoenix has gone through. Kids outside by Del Negro. Bryant wide open. Penetration. Stacy Kidd. He's come off the bench and gone two or two. Well, he's got open looks, but actually that look was open. Suns back on top by two. This is their biggest lead. Yeah, the, the key here for San Antonio is that they continue to play the way they can play and not get caught up in the speed game, which is to the benefit of Phoenix. There's probably no doubt that Jason Kidd is the centerpiece of this team. Of the running gun attack, Suns turned it together a bunch, especially on defense. More than a dozen all-time defensive efforts led by Jason Kidd. Well, what's rare about Jason Kidd, you can see only four turnovers, six, seven assists. Is that maybe three assists? He's got five assists now with those turnovers. He's a guy that doesn't have to score to be effective. Outside, Dennis Scott working on Chuck Person. There's a liability on defense and a fresh 24 for Phoenix on the steal. Keep an eye on David Robinson. He's got to play a lot. He's got to play extended minutes here in the first half with no Duncan to get in. Scott. Shot clock is winding down. Bryant gets the rebound. Bryant puts it in. What a play. Yeah, Popovich is worried because he knows David Robinson should have had the rebound, but he doesn't have the energy to jump. The Suns have their biggest lead. Robinson, Del Negro, Chuck Person for three. Rebound by Robinson. Stolen by Kidd. Here come the Suns are running. Two on two. Work it, Jay Kidd. Work it, Jay Kidd. Inside the stack. Up to Hutwell. chances. That's why his team is in position right now on the foul line up six. Hot Rod Williams. The foul went on Purdue. That's his first. As you take a look at Jason Kidd, they called him the centerpiece and he makes things happen for this team. Oh, the steal he makes on, uh, on David Robinson was unbelievable because Robinson had the rebound. And Jason Kidd caught Robinson kind of leisurely putting it in. Again, the pressure is up. And then stole it and pushed it up. Scores by eight, biggest lead. Well, his sons are by eight with their biggest lead tonight. Johnson outside Del Negro for two. They needed that in the worst way. They right. need some perimeter shooting to go down, and they don't have it. Sons running. Here comes Scott for three. Three D. Look out below. Look out. Scott is hot. Two triples. Pandemonium in Phoenix. 3D is in the house. 6.53 to play in the first half. And the Suns have exploded. An 11-point lead. Dennis Scott leading the way. Before you thought that David Robinson looks a little tired. Yeah, I think he is. Watch the rebound right here. He doesn't get it and snap it. Because he lays it, lazily hands it, you see Jason Kidd come and get this steal, and you can see his eyes are up. He's ready to attack. Jason Kidd has been everything they wanted here in Phoenix. Get them in the trade for, uh, for with Dallas. Kidd gives them energy. I mean, he's finding people. Now 3D, Dennis Scott is in making shots. And now you have to look at the bench scoring. Phoenix out in front, 14 to zip. More full court pressure by the Suns. It goes into Del Negro, and Avery Johnson will take it by midcourt. Phoenix 
won the season series against the Spurs. Three games to one this year. Del Negro with the big basket for San Antonio. Yeah, one of the reasons they won it is because the bench scoring we just saw was 127 to 79 for the four games. I mean, it was incredible. That shot by Del Negro stops a 10-0 run by Phoenix. Here comes Kidd. Avery Johnson on him, but a size advantage for Kidd, who works in the lane. Rebound by Purdue. Remember now, Duncan on the bench with three fouls. Yeah, it puts a lot of pressure on him. I think here's where Vinny Johnson, I'm not Vinny Del Negro or Avery Johnson, they are the ones that have to be smart. Give David Robinson the ball where he doesn't have to work hard. If you got to get the turn and take a little look, let him get it. And that's two in a row by San Antonio. Duncan went out about two and a half minutes ago with his third. Maybe a little excited. Remember, this is his first playoff game. Good point. Good point. Kid over down there. Oh, and a shot by Kid. He's got 11. Phoenix Suns. 
Danny Ainge goes, that's an opportunity that his team missed to get another basket right there. Yeah. Off 11. I see the benches getting involved, too. Two guys that aren't playing, Manning along with Rex well, Chapman. Well, what they wanted to try, to, I'm sure, is to get a pick and roll, and Danny Manning obviously disappointed. And you'll watch Danny Ainge. He knows there was an opportunity that they let get away. Don't want to have many of those happen, even though he is up 11 points. That looks like a more refreshed David Robinson after that timeout. A little more bounce in his step but the Suns are going to keep the pressure on. Well, Robinson and Avery Johnson have been the entire offensive story for the Spurs tonight. 13 of 20, those two. Yet the rest of the team, a meager 4 of 15. Sharon Jackson will Purdue whack from behind by Clifford Robinson, a foul. Well, that's the way to beat the press, and then Robinson did the only thing he could do. Down, and Greg Popovich had to find something. He kept the team together. Now they're beginning to get healthy. In fact, he says they're the healthiest they've been all year. Yeah, they are as healthy as they've ever been. The guy they've really got to worry about, though, has got to be Benny, uh, not, is Avery Johnson, because he's the guy that gives them some control. He's got it off the bench ready to get back in the game. Two and a half to play in the half. Into Purdue, who kid knocked it away. Picked up by Robinson. That pass, bad decision through traffic. Johnson to Scott, and Jaron Jackson is right there. Nice defense. KJ, maybe his last playoff. He talked about retirement last year. He may indeed retire after this year. Dennis Scott, picked up by Purdue. Dennis Scott had what he wanted. Benny Dale made well the block, and he just short on him. Two minutes to play in the first half. Here comes Chuck Rosen. Jackson, he can hit the three, but it's inside with five to shoot for Robinson. Jackson, his second try tonight. He hits his first. I think that's a huge three for them as they get ready to go up to halftime because the shot clock was down the five. Now the perimeter shot is going in. They can go outside, down inside to Robinson. That is San Antonio's first three-point shot tonight. Kidd. Great defense by Robinson. It's a bad pass by Jason Kidd. Robinson was on the high side the whole time, Kevin. I don't know why you even throw that one. But he maneuvered well to get it. And now San Antonio beginning to grab the momentum. It's Del Negro. Going right to David Robinson. Little two-man game. Robinson on Robinson inside in the foul. Robinson with the theft at the other end. Well, watch him. He fights over the screen. Now, the ball should go to the left-hand inside end. You see Robinson do a good job. He get to the outside, picks up the easy steal. Robinson averages just under two a game. And when he is healthy for the first time, he says the best he's felt all year long. Yeah, he's had a couple of incidents. He had the one I think everyone knows about where he got hit in the head by Carl Malone with those guns. <laughs> I mean, that would hurt anybody. Cannons, not guns. Yeah, uh, you're right. Those are cannons. All right, coming up on the Nike halftime, Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Coach Chuck Daly scores and highlights of tonight's first run action in the NBA. I didn't know Kenny was still a Jet. You can still fly. He start the engine. He I'm can sure. fly. <laughs> I know it can knock down the J. Yeah. Chuck Person on him. Kid likes this matchup. With the runner. Brian takes it back up and in. Brian doing a good job moving Purdue under the basket while the shot was going up. And that's what exactly what Purdue is telling the officials. Suns by seven, 46 seconds to play in the half. Avery Johnson authored a great first quarter. There's a foul called on Brian trying to fight through the Robinson screen. His first. Rebound, tough rebound. That time right over McLeod. Luke Rowe. They got shooters in the game. Woo! Hey, David Robinson as Barry meets the NBA. A wonderful pirouette inside. Get some new shoes, Mark oh, Ryan. What a play! He brings the Spurs to within five. Robinson with 17. They got a illegal bench no defense I'm an exasperated <laughs> Chuck Person. What? He, he can't imagine. Well, he got away with a foul. It goes into an automatic technical foul situation because it's under two minutes. You see Robinson and Bryant looking the other way while Robinson is getting the finish. Elite rolls off the bench. Got the, you got one, two, three. You got five guys on the floor. The tallest guy, 6'6". Six, six. All of them can shoot three points. This is the unexpected when you play that game speed. Robinson goes out, Del Negro comes in. Matchup purposes. 
Tallest guy on the floor, 6'8", Chuck Person. 22nd timeout taken by Phoenix. Dean wants to make sure they good job with this team. Not only to get them to play together, but they are exciting to watch. Suns by five. They'll try to work the final 17 seconds to their advantage. Kevin Johnson. They'd like to try to get a pick and roll with one of their shooters, either Nash or Scott, and hope that you get the switch late. KJ for two. Rebound by Del Negro. The Spurs dodge the bullet. Reggie Fury at the buzzer. And San Antonio down by as many as 11 in that 25. You want more from Brent Price? Mark Price watching at home probably does. There's Brent Price with another three. They're up by 12. Charles Barkley at the break gets into it with a fan at the Delta Center. You know this guy, Kenny? Yeah, I've said a couple of things. Matter of fact, I still got some things I want to say to that guy, well, man. Charles <laughs> trying to take care of that for you there. And time running out now in the third and everything going Houston's way. Clyde, they call him coach next year. Right now, the Clyde hits a three. They were up 21 after three quarters. Now it's a 12-point game. Utah rallying with a vengeance. It's 87 to 75. But guys, what has gone on in this game? I mean, is Utah flat coming in thinking this is going to be? And the guy, Matt Geiger, has always got no hair, unable to go tonight, but Charlotte would win without him over the Atlanta Hawks. They hadn't beaten them all year, and Steve Smith early on with a three, and Mookie Blaylock penetrates and dishes to Christian Leitner. It's 51-39 to 39, Atlanta. Dave Cowens finally came up with a play, and he got J.R. Reed off the bench and really gave him a spark. Nine points in the second quarter, three-point play late in the half here, sends him to the locker rooms, 54 apiece. In the third period, Glenn Rice and Steve Smith just stealing the show in playoff game number one. Actually, a four-point play there for Glenn Rice as he missed the free throw after hitting the bucket and then cannon the jumper. Steve Smith hits a long one. Steve Smith hits a long one. It got a little redundant. He had 35 points on the night to 34 for Rice, but Glenn taking it strong to the cup with the floater. And then, just taking it back out, Murray's comfortable, and draining another jumper. 34 points for him. Steve Smith keeps Atlanta right there. They're down four until David Wesley iced it for the Charlotte Hornets. They were 0-4 against the Hawks in the regular season. But in game one at the Hive, they come back from a sluggish start and win 97-87. to 59% the Hornets shoot Atlanta, 46%. And what happened to Atlanta Pacers on their way to the Eastern Conference Finals? Maybe a little early to talk about that, but I'll tell you one thing. The Cavs are believers tonight. Highlights coming up. But this afternoon, this evening, I think he got caught a little bit into the playoff scenario, not understanding the circumstances. you got to remember, he's still a rookie, though it's his first year, only two of six from the field. He says he's not a rookie anymore because he has a full year under his belt. I'll take him at his word. So we start the second half with Purdue off to Avery Johnson. Duncan is in there with three fouls. He didn't play the final eight and a half minutes of the first half. Jackson into Duncan, who's defended by Robinson and out of bounds and off the Spurs to begin. He doesn't change a lot of expressions. It looks like coming out of the timeout, what they wanted to do is go at Robinson. You'll see Robinson do a good job. Cliff Robinson get the ball that drops off of Duncan's foot. Good defense by Cliff Robinson. Kid wide open is McLeod for two. I didn't think he was as wide open. Duncan was out there. That was just a facial. But it shows you the quickness of Duncan getting over there. By the way, Duncan probably still a little blurry eyed when he got that finger in the eye in the first half. Duncan inside with a traffic filled lane to greet him. He'll be at the line. Good job. They're back screen point. And I think that's what you're probably going to have to look to do. Phoenix will switch most things because they've got guys of like size. But then you've got to read that. If you can't cut through, slip the pick a little bit. That we're watching play. Doesn't get flabbergasted about a whole lot of things. Just play. The clock for three. Way outside. Rebound Jackson. First out of bounds. And uh, here looking for a little help. He's going to call a foul on Jason Kidd. He is. He's going to do. Yeah, because Jan Jackson was trying to throw the ball back in. And Kidd fouled him. 
Danny looking a little bit fuddled by the ball. Much to the chagrin of Danny Ainge, although that is a play that Ainge probably would have committed himself when he was a player for his 14 years in the NBA. Danny hits you in the back of the head, but he's got to get the ball, I'm telling you. But Danny played, he played hard, and that's what I liked about it. Duncan Cole inside on the case with great defense, and Purdue is there again. Clean it up time after time this season, and especially tonight, Will Purdue is coming, as you say, to clean up. He cleans up. This is a very good baseline move. But watch the quickness of McDyess to get back and get a hand on what would have been a block. And there's Purdue with those arms. Gets it, puts it back up. McLeod can do nothing to stop. McLeod's got three. Purdue has seven points. And the Spurs inch closer. It's a two-point ball game. It's a floor game. It's a half-court game. That's why. Right. This is not the Phoenix Slifer. They want to run. Yeah. And run and run some more. The dice with Purdue on it. Double by Jackson. Kid open for three. Rebound by Duncan. Quick outlet. See, they can get out and run this way. Here comes Avery Johnson out to Jackson for three. Kaboom! He knocks it in. His second tonight. And they take the lead. But that's Tim Duncan with the quick outlet before the defense can set up with steps out for This is the way the game started for San Antonio. Antonio's first lead since early in the second quarter. Kevin Johnson with a killer fadeaway. What a tough shot. I mean, he, this shot he gets fade away from the basket, turning the corner. Two minutes gone here in the third. Avery Johnson inside, trying a little English on his spin. Johnson gets it back, trailed by Kidd, picked up by Kevin Johnson. But that's the kind of play that Greg Popovich was talking to Scott Hastings about. Loose balls, the guards have to come up with that. Johnson to Robinson, Robinson into Robinson, and a foul called on Clifford Robinson, on David Robinson. He's got four, and that's a problem. That's why they were going at him at the beginning of the, the half, because he's got three fouls. They figured they'd get his fourth. Oh, again, no Rex Chapman tonight. Bad left hamstring. He could have played if this were a game five. They want to make sure he can play a game five in a couple, in a couple of days. Yeah, no doubt. And you see Brian comes in. And Robinson goes out. You lose a lot of offense when Robinson goes out. Phoenix has been aggressive, overly so. They have 14 fouls, and we're only we got nine minutes to go in the third quarter. It's a lot, and that is trouble. Duncan on the dice. The fingertips of McLeod, picked up by Kidd, ahead to McDice, into Robinson, rejected by Duncan. What a play! Because Robinson was there. Duncan, good pass. Jackson, into McLeod, out to Johnson, plenty of time to shoot. But a solid pass by Tim Duncan on the run to have a seven foot and make a touch pass. Avery Johnson, Kidd is there. Jackson, another three. And off to Bryant. This is Phoenix now. They got it where they It's up tempo. Outside. Look how open the dice is. Robinson with another rebound. And he picks up his tenth of the game. Already David with a double double. Yeah, you got two guys on the team averaging double double. You got Duncan being guarded that time by Kidd. Kidd with a great steal. Here comes Kidd into Jackson with the trailer. Kidd tries to call him son. That is a bad call, in my opinion. Because Jan Jackson did nothing but back up, and Kidd jumped into him. Where was he in the lane in that uh, imaginary? But you're allowed to maintain your defensive position, but watch Kidd here. He pushes, the ball goes up. Again, same kind of play he had when he took it from David Robinson in the first half. You see it going here. See, they don't give it. You see, he's backing up. Right. They're giving the ball out of bounds. And Danny's saying he shot the ball. And I say, I agree with Danny. If you're going to say that's a foul, he was shooting the ball, even though he's throwing it back with over his head. We have the kind of position to shoot. Eight and a half to play in the third. McDice, Purdue defender. He missed everything in 11th rebound for Robinson. Johnson pushing it. What oh, oh, a back inside, and that is. It's got to be. This thing's going up. will meet was the goaltending on the play. Well, I think they're, they're pretty convinced it was not. I thought it was goaltending. And like all good crews, they will discuss it. The question is whether or not it's coming down. You see, he gets fouled. That hit the rim, and they're saying it was off the rim. But I don't disagree.
disagree with that because he was clearly off the rim. And if you Golden State and Popovich, that's why he is interested. That's why the Spurs are interested in Latrell Sprewell, his son. Well, I think they're more interested in Latrell Sprewell because he can play. I'm not, but the relationship is there in the past. And okay, yeah, I, I, I buy that one. Here's McLeod for three. Oh, George McLeod right between the eyes. Definitely an X factor with that. Suns by two. Robinson battling with Bryant. That's what he can do. Without a thing he can do. Second time by Mark Bryant. The time of Danny Ainge is, is really livid. I'm not sure I disagree with what he's saying is that he thinks that's an offensive foul. He thinks David Robinson initiated the contact. Robinson knocks in his first. Does David Robinson initiate the contact is what Danny Ainge is saying. Does he go into him? No. No, that's not even close. I'm all for you pulling for your team, Danny. No, that was not close. Robinson's got 19, and from the free throw line, Robinson tonight is 50%, 5 of 10. Gets to the foul line as much as Michael Jordan, uh, Carl Malone. David Robinson gets to the foul line a lot. Got to do a better job knocking him down. Tim Duncan on McLeod. McLeod again. It is Purdue again. Always around. Approaching seven minutes to play in the third. Robinson, we're not going to double him. They got illegal defense. Danny Ainge is as intense as I've ever seen him as a coach. I've, I've known Danny Ainge for now about 11 years, and he's he's got that real fire. Normally, not quite as involved. He sees this as a good opportunity for his team to get a win without their star, Rex Chapman, on the floor. Johnson to Robinson to Duncan. Tim Duncan slithering inside with a nice move. How about the pass from the seven-footer Robinson to get it down there? A beauty. And San Antonio takes a two-point lead. Phoenix shooting 43%, San Antonio 50%. Bryant muscling his way inside into Purdue with the sweep up. Tough shot because he's got to take it over with Purdue, clear space. Robinson left free, Duncan with a great screen. He knocked out basically two defending sons. But he also was the guy who set the original pick and then rolled and three people went to help and that's how David Robinson got over. Halfway through the third quarter. And inside the McDice. Shot clock is down to seven. McDice oh, good going move. inside. In front is in. Yeah, good move. McDice. And he, he dropped stepped inside and faked his head out and then turned in for a little shot. For McDice, his first points since the first quarter. It is on Jackson. Good screen by Purdue. Jackson open for three. Rebound by McDice. And here come the Suns with a tie game at 61. McDice, look how open he is again. And again he hits it. He's got an active. He got down here and was active on the last move that he made inside. He chased the long rebound. He's giving him a little energy here. He's got 10. Duncan on the block. And they got a hand battle inside. Tim Duncan learning playoff basketball. A little more physical than the regular season. Two to shoot. Avery Johnson with the miss. The crowd. Back on defense comes San Antonio. And so the Suns can't exploit that. And McDice again. Oh, and he's on. He's hit it again. He's hit three in a row. They're going to have to take a timeout. They wanted to wait, but decided not to. San Antonio's got to take a timeout. They've got to step out and guard Dice. He's showing them he can knock it down. It is first playoff appearance. Win this thing, fellas. 
Well, Robinson needs to take that leadership role. I think this team is looking at him, especially in the playoffs. Well, they expect that from David Robinson. They expect him to lead. They, they don't know when it may come, but I think this is a time, a good time for it to come because he knows all they need to do is steal one game here. They go back with a chance to take two at home, but they've got to steal one. The best one to steal is that first. Duncan rejected by McDice. McDice is playing tennis on the floor. McDice, hey, McDice is loaded. He's coming with it here. I mean, he knows what he wants to do. He knows that everyone is talking about the rookie of the year. You see Antonio McDice, nothing but ball on that one. Knocks it out eight seconds on the shot clock. Rejection after rejection. Shot clock at five. Robinson double. He doesn't know it. He doesn't. He doesn't. Nor does Del Negro, who has to put up a player, can't got a hand on it. Yeah, but neither one of us. I mean, that, that's amazing. You got guys out there better than to know the one thing you do when the, when the ball goes out of bounds, check the shot clock. For a veteran who's had many playoff experiences like Robinson, it should just be academic. It should be for every one of them. I mean, there's, the only guy that's out there that doesn't have any experience in the league is, is Tim Duncan. The veterans ought to know that. I shouldn't say no experience. Duncan has a year of experience now. McDice to Johnson, shot clock at nine, four to play in the third. Johnson outside, Bryant is wide open. And San Antonio has watched Phoenix hit five consecutive shots. And the press is back on. This is when Phoenix branched out to that 13-point lead, and they throw a little pressure. Robinson Bryant puts it away. Mike Bryant has a quietly constructed a very nice game tonight. Questioning now is whether or not San Antonio realized the intensity level for which Phoenix is playing these last three minutes. I mean, I, I'm saying balls get knocked loose. You cannot supposed to knock the ball loose. We're gonna have to play in the third. Jackson, Robinson, three to shoot. Bryant is there again, and he draws the foul. I, I would be like Mark Bryant. I thought he solidly deed him up on that one. Picked up his third. I thought he deed him. You got a guard. Yeah, bump grind. It's playoff time. Here we go. Yeah, I guess you could give him a little bit of that one. It was just a couple weeks ago. Yeah, well, they're 4-12 against teams that, that they're really top teams. So they have really not played very well against the top flight competition. And that is not a good sign for great property. McDice, Duncan got a hand on it. Here comes Jackson the other way. And down the sideline he comes for three. Jackson with the miss. Rebound McLeod. Jackson had a good look, couldn't knock it down. I thought you had jumped it inside. Kevin Johnson. Got what he wants. He's had Will Purdue on him. And Dice is trying to post up. Get out. They're trying to exploit it. And a whistle and a foul on Purdue. He was handcuffed and hard tied and couldn't do a thing. He's got three. He can't guard Kevin Johnson out there. That's a big problem. Active did a good job defending as well. As you can see, he has three blocks. Two of those against Tim Duncan has been active in the reason that the Suns have a six-point lead with 251 to go in the third. And on the other side, San Antonio has been without a field goal for the last three and a half minutes. They've missed their last five consecutive shots. Yeah, well, the problem is if you don't make shots inside, it makes it easier for Greg Popovich's Spurs David Robinson, Tim Duncan to be double teamed. They need perimeter shooting. Mark Brown inside, slipping by Duncan and Purdue. Use the rim to keep Duncan from being able to block the ball. Mark Bryant, who is averaging four points a game, has 14 points tonight, exploding. Del Negro, and doing a good job on Duncan, down on the boat. Good, good pass. Inside again. Bryant was there through the five six again. Well, he's teamed with David Robinson to get the biggest turnaround in NBA history. They were plus 35 when David Robinson came to the Spurs with Tim Duncan and Robinson coming back healthy. They're plus 36 from where they were last year. So Duncan obviously and Robinson had a big effect on this team. A short three, McLeod saved it out again. Another try, and there's out of bounds. Well, you say McLeod was on a play on the baseline, so San Antonio gets it. Flow moving back San Antonio's way now. Ah, it's been like a seesaw, up and down, up and down. The game is going back and forth. Like you would expect, you've got to dominate the tempo in order to be really a championship quality team. That's what said. This may be the best first-round matchup in the NBA. 
Duncan, the Young defensive fella. minded Williams Young cannot fella. stop the rookie Tim Duncan. I, you could see he was unbalanced. I mean, the whole time he was unbalanced. And if the man is unbalanced and he's that far with a touch, he'll make that shot. San Antonio had gone about four and a half minutes without a field goal. Nick Dice knocked away by Duncan. And running out looking for help. And it's going to be Phoenix's ball. They call it the Phoenix's ball. I thought he hit the backboard with the right there. But Duncan causes this right here. Well, it looked like it hit a couple spurs. And I just think Vinny Del Negro didn't read it right. Purdue is out. Greg Popovich has put back in David Robinson. What a pass by McDice. Flying in off the opposite side. Hot run, Williams. Good pass by McDice. I don't, yeah. don't see that out of him no. very often. His first playoff taste tonight for McDice. Robinson is a better. This is Williams. Damn, and Williams is doing a good job keeping the leverage on him. Wonderful job by Williams. Got Del Negro. Shot clock at three. Rebound by McLeod. Good defense by the Suns. Solid all the way around. 45 seconds to play in the third. Look, uh, look right here. Oh, they have the dancing of Kidd. Jason Kidd does the dance and enthralls the crowd. He had a foul to give. I mean, and why would you let him get to dancing like that? That's your person trying to guard Jason Kidd, which he's not going to be able to do. 73-65, Phoenix Kidd with an echo in. McLeod with the steal, and down the stretch they come. Here comes McLeod, looking inside, off of Johnson. McLeod had, had tried to make the pass, but what he did was there were two people in the lane. Kidd was one. And Antonio McDyson was just trying to fill the lane. They got there at the same time, knocked the ball out of bounds. San Antonio trying to make a statement down 73-65. Winding down the third quarter. Duncan works on McDyson. Tim Duncan. Oh, oh, silky smooth jump shot by Duncan. You better watch the lob. Kidd trying to beat the buzzer. Take care. Play by Kidd. Take care. are up 75 67 the crowd is on their feet they gotta like the energy that jay kidd brings to the game to be able to get that ball the length of the court in the fast it with five seconds solid defense go ahead and suck they have been very experienced and grown very old in the course of one year. Maybe they're showing some different things here in the playoffs. Well, they are experienced and they have grown old, but they also show that you can never underestimate the heart of a lion. We begin the fourth quarter. Robinson feeds inside. The other Robinson knocks it away. Lead pass Jackson being trailed by three. And to put it up and through the first appearance tonight from Monty Williams, and he gets two the hard one. Well, this is an effort to try to get some energy on the floor. Monty Williams from Notre Dame, about 6'7", athletic, can make shots, but he can get out and probably better match up when you take Will Purdue out of the game on one of the smaller players of Phoenix. Nice shot by Kevin Johnson. Everybody worried about Clifford Robinson. Pick and roll if you go under that. Kevin will knock the shot down. Got to go with Cliff Robinson. He's got four fouls. I don't know why you didn't worry about running anything but that. Sharon Jackson for three. Oh, what a shot. How about Jaron Jackson? I mean, he's played with three or four teams, different teams. Eight teams in eight years. Well, I mean, here lately, I'm, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I mean, but he, he's a guy that just comes in and makes shots as Kevin Johnson knocks down the jump. It's a shooting gallery as we begin the fourth quarter. 79-72 Phoenix. Duncan has played the longest time in foul trouble, but he has settled down in the second half. Works into the great defense oh. of Rod Williams, oh. and he still banks it home. Let me tell you, that move is so subtle that he made to the inside that it took all the pressure away from Williams being able to keep him from going outside. Duncan with 16. Spurs down by five. Suns have hit the last five. by Duncan, Robinson over Robinson. That in-between game. That mid-range jump shot. Exactly. One of the lost arts in basketball 
well as the fact that people can make three-pointers, can dunk the ball, but the mid-range game is what you're being challenged with when you play against a team like San Antonio. Because they have two shot blockers inside, you don't go there. And that's five fouls on Clifford Robinson. That was my point. When he came in the game, that's why I was saying you've got to go to David Robinson. Watch the head fake inside and watch him create space. Look inside and look at that space that's created just by that look. And Tim Duncan goes back. There's no way that Hot Rod Williams can get there in time to get the shot. Those are some of the subtleties that Tim Duncan brings to the game as a mature first-year player. You just don't see those kinds of things very often. He does not look like a rookie. David Robinson has even said that offensively he was much further along than Robinson was when he first came in the league, which is quite a, a statement because Robinson turned this team around 35 games with his offense. Well, and Duncan is following in Robinson's footsteps. We assume Duncan will get the Rookie of the Year award. No, I think that's a foregone conclusion. And he was the Rookie of the Month every month. The only other players to do that were David Robinson and Ralph Sampson. So he has shown that he is one of the top players in the league already. Phoenix has not taken a second half free throw tonight. Incredibly, not one in the second half. Oh, Johnson has built it inside like a pinball. Del Negro did the punishing. Well, I think that was kind of a statement from both Vinny Del Negro and from uh, Kevin Johnson. Kevin saying, I'm going. Vinny saying, if you go, you have to go through me. Here comes the handle. I'm going to have to play in the game. They still have Robinson in the game with five fouls. Sporting the defense, Johnson, Kim, ball rotation to Scott. Back to Kim for three. Rebound by Scott. Tumble and a foul called on San Antonio and Jaron Jackson. Yeah, it's got to be on Jackson. He, take, he took his feet out from under him. But Greg Popovich has to be somewhat pleased that his team is making an effort to come up with the loose ball. Long jump shots give long rebounds. Phoenix Suns know that. And so they're looking for those rebounds and got them in the first half. The Suns in the regular season have beaten the Spurs 13 of 14 games here. Robinson open again. Holly ball inside. David Robinson to Vinny Del Negro. You can see with that look in their eye, they want to slow it down. They want to post up. They got to post up Tim Duncan. Why are they going to the other side? He's got Cliff Robinson on. That's the kind of stuff you got to see, Kevin. Robinson. Everybody's standing and watching as Williams takes him inside and a foul on Williams. You see, you're, you're on, the, on the point on Williams. Getting the ball to the man who's being guarded by somebody with five fouls. Well, how about a guy who was in your wedding like Avery Johnson was in David Robinson's wedding a couple of years back and a foul called. It's inside and again it's on Hot Rod Williams. Maybe hey, kind of fake that one, I gotta tell you. <laughs> he, he did a good job of faking that one. 8.40 in the game. And what a game it's been. Throw it to him. Got to throw it to him. Throw it to him. Shot clock at 17. Clifford Robinson knocking it away. See, this is a simple game. Guys in foul trouble attacking. Make him make a decision. Is he going to foul out or is he going to let you make a basket? A little jostling going on inside. The fish is coming to try to clean it up. Well, it's a good move by Kenny Mauer. You can't have this going on. You want the play to be clean. You want the play to be crisp. You don't want to get bogged down with this kind of play when the game is in the balance. Del Negro. Doubled and trapped. Duncan. Doubled and trapped, but he shoots nonetheless. Duncan puts it in. He got his own miss, and he fouled with two. Oh, he came in thrust with the soft hands. I mean, he catches it and keeps it up where nobody can get to. We've got a three-point game. Eight to play in the contest. Kid to Scott, screened by Williams. Yeah. Dennis Scott, right on the money. Yeah, good weak side action. Danny Ains does not like running a lot of plays for his team. He likes him to play by feel. That one he ran for Scott, creating a shot for him. Wonderful screen at the other end. Here come the Spurs. How do they answer? Down by five. Robinson into Robinson. Oh, and he puts it in front in for two. He made a great play because Cliff Robinson would have blocked it if he'd been right-handed. He'd been left-handed. He could slip him under the basket over his head. Johnson. Duncan out there. Duncan knocked it away. Watch this. Oh, you know he's going to make the pass, and he's trying to get in the break. Jackson. Look at that. Into Duncan. Knocked away by Williams, who picks up another foul. Now, this is the guy that got his hands on the ball on the other end. That's why you got to like him. 
He is, uh, and he was much worse to begin the year, but now he is up to 66%. He was in the high 40s to start things off. Three-point game. Hot run, left open to fire. Rebound, Clifford Robinson. Knocked away by Jackson. Big steal by the Spurs. You know, Clifford was standing in the lane and really trying to get out of it. He just happened to drip the ball to Jaron Jackson. Otherwise, he couldn't rebound. Screen by Duncan. Avery Johnson down. Avery Johnson at 14 early has picked up his 19th point in causing trouble for Phoenix Cody here in the NBA. And tonight, in his NBA playoff debut, and showing no signs of not being able to equal what he did during the year, except struggling a little bit in terms of getting a rebound. Scott, the fadeaway over Del Negro. Great rebound by Robinson. He has 13. I see an amazement here, Kevin. Tim Duncan ran down for the double team, and, and if you get the shot, David Robinson is going to get the rebound. That's pretty hard to fight. Duncan out to Del Negro. They get Del Negro shooting the three. They're going to be dead. Oh, what a shot again. Double team sandwich inside. Duncan for two. He's got 20. It's the repost. The repost, young people just don't know. He reposted. Got it once and then got it, and then got it back. Kevin Johnson. Duncan's on him. KJ. Two. Hot ball Williams. KJ still showing you some of that quickness. This corrals it. Suns have it. Outside. KJ thought about three. Under six to play in the game. Mason Kidd has not been much of a factor here. I expect he'll try to come alive. Ryan got a hand on it, but Robinson too big and in too good a position. Like playing with, you know, your son or something. He just tapped it out over everybody's head. Johnson to Duncan. What a great second half he's had with 16. Hot Rod has good hands. He's got to watch the ball around Hot Rod. Young fella. Duncan cannot be stopped. He's got 22. Young fella scoring at him. <laughs> Go to work, young fella. San Antonio leads by one. Screen by Williams. Jump shot. Kevin Johnson. Boy, I'm telling you, work that pick and roll. The Suns on top. That game's have been 93, 83 on the half. So this is about where you would expect it to be. Duncan again. Can Williams stop him? Duncan. He cannot be stopped again. Time after time. Winning joust after joust. He's got 24. Somebody better help him. <laughs> on his own, Hot Rod's getting two. Kid double. Kid. Those piercing green eyes searching like Trilbit trying to bore their way into San Antonio's defense. He got what he wanted. He was just trying to find somebody to pass it because Kidd didn't want to shoot. He's not in a rhythm. Kidd is 6 of 16. I'm not looking for, for one option as a point guard. This is my option. Let me find out his young fella that hot. Duncan inside. <laughs> Duncan inside. Ooh. Duncan is having a leg up. He's in his wall. He has scored the last eight points. This is a rookie single-handedly taking over the game. Doing some work, if you will. 90-87, the San Antonio Spurs. And someone young shall lead them. And it comes from number 21, Tim Duncan. Let's look at 7-1. Watch this. Little shake, little between the legs. Now watch what happens here. Hot Rod's a good low post player. Here's a guy, remember he's a swimmer. His upper body strength gets that one to go down. Tim Duncan, and shall we say, is on a roll. He has 24 points in the second half. 12 in the fourth quarter to Scott Hastings. Kevin Quinn was talking about a while ago. It's okay if you have a piano to get tuned, but if you're a defensive player, you don't want to be getting tuned. <laughs> like I said, Danny Ainge must be listening because watch for Phoenix to start double teaming. Uh, Duncan down low, and those guys are going to put him back in looking for some offense, guys. Well, I think that's a good move by Danny. He's got to look at that doubling at some point on, 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 on what's going on with Tim Duncan now. Tim Duncan is, is his high in the league is 35 points. 
so he's he's capable of getting big numbers, but I don't think Danny Ainge wants anything close to that. An incredible fourth quarter shooting as you just saw. Here comes McDice. Even in the way of Duncan, McDice hits it in a clutch shot for the Suns. That post up is to get an open shot for anybody other than Jason Kidd. No, he's the post up man. Let's see if they double on the block. Now they got McDice, not Williams, but McDice on Duncan. Duncan plowing inside. Duncan underway. He's gone. Don't be so mean. What a play by Tim Duncan. Inside out. A little shake him up. Kid. He can't hit. Duncan on the glass. Duncan on the offensive end. Now it's time for David Robinson to kind of take a little offensive load. If you score that many points in a row, you get tired. Del Negro. Again to Duncan. Can he do it again? Dancing. Oh. He's trying to save. Shukin. Driving and a foul on McDice. What else are you going to do? Put up a roadblock. Put the cuffs on him. <laughs> you better do something. You need to lock him up. Because the tempo's been more to the Spurs' life. And it hasn't been up and down the way Phoenix would like to have it. That foul on David Robinson out on the pit. Plays him over. Bill Duncan has played extremely well. Kevin Johnson. Mark Bryant knocked away by Johnson. Retrieved by Bryant. Who's had a wonderful night shooting out of bounds. It goes. It's Phoenix as well. The thing that I, if I'm Greg Popovich, I, I would want, and Danny Ains would want, is this is where defensively David Robinson has to take over because that's what David Robinson has bought into that they talked to him about as George McLeod just throws the ball right in the hand of Vinny Del Negro. Here come the Spurs. 2.20 left. Jackson. McLeod on him. Duncan. Nobody on him except Bryant who comes flying in from the weak side. He's picked up his fifth foul. With Bryant 31, San Antonio free throws. The Chapman is out, did not start. They knew he wouldn't play. The bad hamstring has kept him out. And he may be the heart and soul of this Suns team. Leading scorer and their soul. Well, yeah, because he can make tough shots that can really take the spear from the opposition. Him not being on the floor hurts in that regard. Duncan on McDice. Duncan to the rack. Bryant came over to double him. No call. Here come the Suns. Kid to the crowd for three. McDice swaps it back out to McLeod. 143 to play. McDice on Robinson. Big play, I think, for Phoenix. They need to get a hoop. Rejected by Robinson, picked up in defense with David Robinson's signature all over. Are you sure? Because Tim Duncan was right there as well. It was either one of them. Avery Johnson into the clutches of Mark Bryant. What a great game. I'm telling you, these guys are fabulous. When you get a chance, we'll, we'll, all right, take your choice. There's, there's Duncan and there's Robinson. Robinson gets to it, but Duncan was right there. And Mark Bryant doing his best effort is just fouled out of the game. And Bryant had 15 points off the bench and four rebounds, did a wonderful job. He, he established an inside presence. Avery Johnson. Avery is only a 72% free throw shooter. As you take a look at the former Rocket and Trailblazer Bryant, McDice will sit out. Clifford Robinson back in the game. Well, Clifford Robinson had to come in because Bryant was out of the game. Scott's in because they needed to get another shooter on the floor. A minute 24 to 25 to go here. You're down six. You want to get shooters on the corners. Jay Kidd probably will look to push up, create some mismatches. Everything has got to count now for the Suns. Here comes Kidd. Can he take over? Inside to Robinson. And David Robinson knocked it away. And Mr. Robinson's neighborhood, folks. Oh, Kidd got it. Two for one, but Kidd with the C1. Spurs by four. Well, this is really where they wanted to handle the ball. Robinson's got five, but David Robinson, he picked up his pivot to early. Robinson knocked away by Kidd. A second steal by Kidd to Johnson. And a foul called inside on Del Negro. Well, there's been some plays going here, and both coaches are screaming at the officials trying to get called, but the officials are just letting them play.
You see, Jason Kidd, just what he did is he slapped the hand a little bit of Benny Del Negro. In that situation, Avery Johnson needs to bring that up against Jay Kidd. I mean, that basically puts him in a tough position. I mean, this thing. He said, Coach, thanks for the support. He just walked back out on the court. I mean, you got to love a guy that has that kind of sense of humor. I mean, that thing is great. 25 <laughs> seconds to play. He played a little bit. And a 20-second timeout taken. And to think that San Antonio, Quinn, trailed by eight, entering the fourth quarter. They trailed 75-67. What they got, Kevin, was they got a real emotional game early from Phoenix. They're at home. They know they have a good chance to go up 13. Come out at the half, and they had a similar situation. Danny got them ready to play, and they just weren't able to hold on to it. There's hey, too much Tim Duncan. TD is all over the place. San Antonio has hit an incredible 79% of their shots, thanks to Duncan and Robinson in this fourth quarter. Thanks to Duncan. <laughs> Robinson came along for the ride today. Oh, but, it, but it was a nice ride. <laughs> it was a nice ride. I mean, some days you can do that. And he had the defense of standing there, and his defense has been almost as important as Duncan's offense. Oh, I, there's no doubt about it. I was only joking about the fact that he just he came along for a ride. Out to Scott, Del Negro there, Scott for two, cool. what a shot by Scott. 21 seconds to play. Out, oh, and Duncan was whacked hard by Kevin Johnson, inadvertently, but a hard foul nonetheless. Duncan's taking a couple shots to the Duncan tonight. Duncan is an athlete than Duncan, but Duncan is a better basketball player. And I don't think there's any doubt about that. He is just better skilled at getting things done. I mean, he, he feels it easier, but as a specimen, David Robinson is unsurpassed as a, as a guy 7-1 with the kind of athletic ability he brings to the table. I'm telling you, this is some kind of specimen, guy. Oh. If they had an outside game, if they had an outside shooter on this team, a consistent young outside shooter, they'd be kind of a They need that, and they, but they need it probably for a couple of years so guys can get comfortable. Kidd and Duncan. Kidd may have won the toss. Out of bounds. It's off San Antonio. No, they call a foul on Jaron Jackson. And what Avery Johnson was trying to set up was he was trying. Well, Johnson hits the second free throw. It's a three-point game. Robinson looking. Duncan can't uh -oh. get to Avery Johnson. Ten seconds left and a foul called on Kidd. You'd like to almost, if you could get a lob, you'd like to get something like that, something quick, so you don't use up much time. They could use Rex Chapman here. Yeah, but watch him getting the ball back to McClown, because sometimes people don't guard the guy taking the ball out of bounds. Out to Scott. He faked out to an ankle. Oh! Almost, almost, it's loose. Duncan has it. Game is down to a tenth of a second. And a foul called on Phoenix. How appropriate is it for Tim Duncan to come up with the basketball? At that it, and San Antonio comes out of the Valley of the Sun in game one with a huge win. It is. It's a big win in a five-game series to steal that first one. You know you got two at home, but you still have a chance to steal the one Saturday. It's an upset, and we go to the man of the hour, Tim Duncan.